So when I heard that uh, Climeworks and Carb Fix were on the cover of Wired Magazine, I figured I had to go to Barnes & Noble and I got myself a copy. This is the Big Inhale and it's got a picture of the Climeworks Carb Fix facility right on it. Uh, that's a photo and says on a barren Icelandic plateau, this factory sucks carbon dioxide out of the air before trapping in stone. The plant is a decades old idea, that's right, that's finally becoming a reality. The next challenge, build 10,000 more. So it's pretty exciting stuff. Uh, really a sign that this, this industry is maturing uh, in a way that uh, we haven't seen before. Uh, I heard from my partner, she said she, uh, she thought she heard about carbon removal on the, on the Trevor Noah Daily Show uh, recently. So again, another sign that, that uh, you know, there's hundreds of thousands of people, millions of people hearing about carbon removal for the first time. Uh, I can't imagine how cool it would be to be a you know, teenager like cracking open the latest edition of Wired uh, and being like, whoa, what is all this direct air capture stuff? And kind of, you know, starting to starting to get curious about it and learn more about it. Um, so that's, you know, that's what's happening in the outside world in, in terms of carbon removal. Uh, and I also see this this kind of maturing happening within uh, within air miners, within the, the broader carbon removal industry. Uh, I wanted to highlight some things I'm seeing specifically at Launchpad that are uh, really signs of a, of a maturing industry. Uh, basically uh, seeing you know, more companies getting started that are themselves looking at other air miners as customers. So for that, for that uh, big inhale uh, cover to happen, you got Climeworks, you got Carbfix, who are all the other players that are needed to make those 10,000 uh, plants come to life. I'm starting to see that uh, in the current batch of Air launch Launchpad that we just started, uh, we have 13 teams, uh, and one of the teams is going through and interviewing a whole bunch of people from, from the other uh, 12 teams because they think that potentially these teams could be uh, really good customers or partners as they start to develop their company. And so that's something we, we hadn't seen in previous batches of Launchpad. We certainly saw people kind of helping each other and advising each other. But this is the first time where there's actually a team that's like, hey, I want you all to be my future customers. Let's go figure out how that, uh, how that happens. Um, another example of this is uh, is Moat and Carbon Cure. They just announced a, a partnership. So Moat was a batch one uh, air miners launch pad company. And uh, Rob Niven, the CEO of Carbon Cure, uh, was one of the speakers at uh, batch one and batch two. He was our, our kickoff speaker uh, for both times. And so these two companies are now working together, Carbon Cure uh, and, and Moat. And there's a whole press release. You can, you can read more about this. But I think this is, you know, starting starting off in terms of thinking about 2022 and thinking about this industry maturing, just seeing more partnerships. We can't, you know, one company can't do it all. Uh, you do need to figure out those partnerships, whether it's Climeworks and Carbfix or Moat and Carbon Cure. You know, this is just how we're gonna build this to be a gigaton scale uh, industry. Let's see, there was one other example uh, that we saw coming up at, at Launchpad 2 of this, of this kind of maturing industry is that we just see, uh, we have so many more teams and so many more applicants. Uh, we, we looked through the teams and normally in the first two batches, what we've done is we've, we've created these mini groups where, uh, you know, a bunch of people that are kind of maybe interested in director capture in a group and maybe people interested in, uh, in soil or biochar kind of in a group. Uh, and this time around, we grouped it instead by time zone. So we had a uh, kind of a European time zone. We had an East Coast and a West Coast uh, United States time zone. Uh, and, and yeah, that's like a, a development, I think, this year where we're starting to see so many more people in carbon removal that you can actually just connect based on time zone. There's so many people. Um, you don't have to just connect on topic. So basically, that's, you know, that's what I'm seeing in terms of the, the growth of the industry, the maturity of the industry. Uh, and you know, that backs up this idea that Climeworks is on the, uh, on the cover of Carbfix uh, because you know, that's, that's the leading edge of this industry. And, and what's happening in Airmar's launch pad is kind of that, that uh, just when these ideas are, are getting started. Um, so a couple key takeaways. Uh, one, you know, go outside of your vertical. If you're focused super on director capture, great. Like you can get to know all the director capture companies, but don't forget to, to branch out. Talk to biochar companies, talk to people who are starting uh, soil or forestry companies and, and vice versa, because there's a lot of potential there in terms of partnerships, uh, potential customers, even just, you know, kind of learning, learning about a different industry so you can better understand how this whole thing works. Um, Another, yeah, you know, uh, if you're if you're interested in getting in this uh, in this industry, as you know, somebody who's reading these these Wired articles, um, there's a it's a great time to be uh, looking for a job in carbon removal. Um, so 
there's a, a great uh, piece in Canary Media last week about uh, finding a job in carbon removal. Uh, and so, yeah, this is uh, these are my notes from the big inhale.